welcome back guys it's Ritz and I'm bringing you another Minecraft Hypecraft server episode and what we're gonna do today is cover three basic pretty pretty amazing things uh, for one I just hit 30 subscribers it's another milestone not a very big one but it's it's huge for me because uh, 30 it's 30 people watching my videos and willing to subscribe to me and give me that little boost of confidence that I need to uh, want to put out these videos every day but number two on our list is we have built a snow farm and the way you do that is I will show you but if you want you guys want a tutorial on how to make the snow farm I will uh, well just leave me a comment down below and I will uh, upload a video showing you how to make the snow farm and number three is we are gonna build the mob farm today the zombie spawner farm and uh, I kinda been preparing for it getting my iron and I need to get some redstone together but I won't need any redstone really for this build uh, as you can see here we have 64 iron and three diamonds so once we get to 30 we can make a pickaxe but here is the snow farm as you can see here snow farm in here and what you have here is a snow golem he's just minding his own business trapped in his little glass cube and if you can see there you have one sticky piston there and one sticky piston there they are both connected to this lever here and which then will push this block forward this block forward and pushing him into the corner of these glass pieces thus putting snow on this piece right here so as you can see push him forward pull out your shovel go to town you just hold it for days go as long as you want get as much snow as you want you will go through your shovel very quickly I kinda stop now so I don't have to worry about my shovel durability uh, but there we go get the last little bit of snow and then you can just click them in there as you can see I already have a little bit of snow build up but I probably will make the storage system like double chest double chest double chest and so on if we need but that is the snow farm in a nutshell uh, it's very simple very easy and uh, yeah that's about it for the snow snow golem farm uh, as you can see here is I have uh, pretty much a half slab of snow I'm running between my half slabs of dirt or wood or whatever these pigs are loud better run away from these guys we're gonna run along our new path that I built all the way to our mob trap I must say it is very nice and very easy to follow no really tricks up my sleeve on this path uh, no secrets it will take you directly to the mob farm or the zombie spawner I guess I should call it um, but it's right down here it uh, isn't too fancy yet I just have some staircase down into the cave and thus far taking you into it right here um, I don't think we we're quite low enough underground to uh, to just dig straight up without emerging from the earth so I might have to make a hill up top just kind of like cover the tunnel that we're gonna build but for right now let's just start doing this I am gonna overlay some music while I do all the digging and stuff so sit back and watch how I do it and I will see you guys and I will talk to you guys right after I'm done so stay tuned
Alright guys, so we have the floor and the room dug out to our specifications that we want. I'm just going to get the staircase going back up the way we have to have it so we can get out of this place. Like that. I will uh, place my torches back down so we don't have any random spawns. But this is what we have going for us so far. Um, what we'll have to do is make a water system which is very simple all we do is put a block in this corner and a block in that corner and then I will make a infinite water pool which is also very very easy for us to do um, let's just take back this little area here one block like that and we can have the three here and then you put one water bucket there one water bucket there and just for uh, cleanness I'm gonna put a slab there and a slab there and I can just put a slab there too and then you just come up and you can fill up your water so then the next thing we'll do is I will actually not do the water yet I will start to dig out this little hole area that we will need for the upcoming thing and I probably won't skip out for this part we place the water there and there and as you back up you'll see that it makes like a little pattern like so that. So well then what you have to do is you take this, you dig all the way up to the water, like I have it here, you bring it back down, and then right here you can see that all the blocks meet up at the water level. And you want that because now what you're going to do is break that one, that one, that one, that one, the one in the middle, the one under that, 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 and that. And what that will do is centralize all the water flow into the central location like I have it here. And if I did it right, it will stop right there, like that, and that's perfect. So then now, what we have to do is I have to get out of this hole. And I will do that simply by pillaring up with some cap. Alright, now that we're out, I will need to... Uh, probably get more wood and stuff but let's throw down a crafting table here like that and what we're gonna build now is the well it's the thing that raises the mob to peak level and what that means is actually I'm just gonna make some more sticks like so put them here and then I will have to do one of these and just make a poop load of signs that's probably more signs than I'll need but, you know, it's better to have more than you need than have less than you need. So let's bring this up. We'll have to measure the Y location that we're at down there. And I'm going to to make a few more sticks here. And hopefully we have enough sticks that I can make enough ladders that I need to get out of the hole. I doubt we will because it seems to be farther than nine blocks. But let's just dig right down here and see how far it is. Alright, so we just have to jump up there, ladder, ladder, I didn't need to place that one in that location, location, get that one back on the wall, hope it popped to me, did not, pick it up, that might actually be in the way, so let's just, uh, move it here. This is a very, very simple idea and design. It's uh, very efficient, and uh, you can make it into an XP or just an item form also. I don't know why you just do item, because, well, especially with this, because the zombie farm is not a good place to, well, not a good place, but not a good thing to have as an item farm. Primarily because all they do is give you like rotten flesh and stuff like that. But alright, let's just uh let's see if I can do this. I made it. So let's just go up here, bring this back down like we had it, so it doesn't interfere with what we're doing here. But what you're gonna have to do is place a sign there, and a sign here. And what that will do is allow you to place a water bucket there and allow the water to continue to flow and bring it up. And then once the water, once the mobs are here, they'll look grounding and they'll have to swim up. And thus is where we will have to start going like this. Bring it down like that. And they'll walk into there. 
And I'm also going to bring down this roof right here. Like uh, that. And then bring this one down and do the same. After, well, after we pick up the But now we have them all coming to a centralized location and into a raising chamber like this. And then the way we're going to use an elevator is a water elevator like this. And that will, you'll just put a water bucket, a water bucket, a sign, a water bucket, a sign. And it's very, very simple and a very, very repetitive pattern. So I'll just speed this up until I'm done placing the water. Well, actually, let's see what Y level we're at right here. Y level 62. And I think the magic number is somewhere around 20 blocks. You know, it's kind of finicky. Sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's like 21 or 22. But I will finish doing the signs and water. And you guys can see how it's all done. So stay tuned. And I will be back to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we are nearing the very completion of the mob trap actually, to its rudimentary design and very, very minimalistic uh, build, I guess you could call it. It's very, very easy, it's not very time consuming and I recommend you build this at the very beginning of pretty much all of your uh, worlds. It's, well as you can see, you have been with me since pretty much the beginning uh, and it really, really easy to get built. So this will take us over to here, and it will probably end right there. And we have to go back down to level 62. You guessed it. Hopefully we don't fall in the lava, breaking the number one rule here. But if I fall in the lava, I guess I deserve it. Nope, we will not fall in the lava. We will fall down right here, actually. So 62 will, will be about right there. So let's just dig into this wall. This will take us out, uh, hopefully, into our, not what I wanted right there, okay, that much. Ah, oh, crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's put that back. Now, where are we at here? 62. Oh, I know where we're at now. Whew, I was confused. So, this is right here. Let me go up this way. And it will bring us right here. So, this will take us up. Let's go run it real quick. I don't think we'll die from the fall. So, as we go down, we can take out the ladders. As soon as we break the first, I guess just stand on top like this. I will bring the ceiling down as we go, like so. And then I will uh, fill in the roof here, like that. Fill in the roof there. And I probably I can actually go in and take off all the papers. And we should be fine. We should have very little problem. Sorry, I had a hiccup there. But yeah, we should be fine here. Uh, actually, I should go in and place a block on top of this barn. So I'll do that. I'll click here, like that. So what? And then like that. So now nothing can spawn there. And uh, taking these torches down should be fun. Let's start with that one. And 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 that one. Okay. Break that block. Here. We can go in here and 
kill him real quick. Just get out of my way. Run. We can't eat. We should regen. And what this will do, it will take us up. It will push us over. And it will drop us. Ooh, and we almost died. We died. Oh my god. Alright, let's get a run on here. Get a run on real quick. Because that should, that will be filling, filling up with zombies. So, uh, yeah. Bad situation. Fall down. Awesome, I know. Uh, let's run, run on over here. And, uh, get our stuff, hopefully. Hopefully nothing was blown up. I'd be really upset if our stuff was blown up. So, hopefully the zombies aren't overrunning the place. Too shabby. They should be dead, actually, from that fall. Because I almost... Never mind. There we go. Now. Good, good, good. And good. Good, good, good. Sword. Shovel. Axe. Like that so now we have a killing chamber I don't know if it's at the right height or anything but it will do for now it is a locked in location here and we should have no problem with it where's our hole at there it is so let's, let's clean it up a little bit so it's not so claustrophobic all right we can, we can hop on down here actually I'm gonna dig a path here It's not too pretty right now. Don't worry. I'm not going for prettiness. For beauty. For elegance. But hopefully it should be. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So let's clean this up real quick. Video's getting a bit long. Might take a little while to render. It will still be up by the time I wake up. So easy peasy there. So you'll come on down. You'll see it like this, and you'll punch me in the legs. Like so. And I uh, got an iron ingot. And what I'm going to actually do is drop it down one more floor, one more level, and see if it kills them. Because if it does, you know that I'm at the right level. But if it doesn't, you know that I have to escape. that one down and see if they die when they fall. Throw some torches up here. There. And there you have it guys. That's about that's all about all it is. They don't die. They should be about two hits now. Or three or whatever. No big deal. Three hits. Uh, I could maybe drop it down one more. Maybe. Maybe if I put a thing down there, I dropped it down a half a block more. Still a free hit. I don't really understand that. But yeah, so we have a XP farm now, and we did it very easily. So if you liked my video and you think it was decent enough to leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscription. Uh, I would appreciate it very much. Stay tuned till next episode. This has been Ritz, and I will see you guys all next time. Boodaloo! And, uh, hope you guys have a good night. See ya.